Hello everyone, welcome back to the Torch Awards, I'm your host Swordsmith, and today is the final award video for the season one of the Torch Awards. So today we're going to be taking a look at Generic Bee's Rabbit Cooker design, and I was not too keen on doing farm designs at the beginning of the series, and I changed my mind simply because I thought for our last contraption nominee here, we would have something that was cool, had a lot of features, and was just really, really innovative in general. Now there are a lot of rabbit farms that have been made among the community recently, but this one I thought stood out because it has a lot of different features. It has, of course, breeding rabbits feature, has a handy little breeding add-on for breeding them easier, it has a suffocation mechanism, and it has a cooker mechanism and also one that will allow you to loot the rabbit feet from the rabbits. So there's lots of really neat features built in and let's take a look. Boop. Yo, yo, yo everybody. Generic B here and welcome to a tutorial video on how to make this little sexy beast right here. That's right, it is a rabbit breeder slash cooker slash rabbit foot grinder. That's right, it does it all. Chops, dops, chops, dops, dices, chops, juliannes. Wait, no, it's rabbits. It just breeds them and cooks them and then you can get their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let me show you how it works really quick. Um, you just hit this little button up here, get them bunnies a swimming, and then you're gonna breed them with either carrots or uh, or dandelions. I've already done it and tested it out, so I'm just gonna use the uh, the old-fashioned spawn egg trick. Hey, what are you doing? To get some little babies? Come on down. You, you, you win this time. And all the babies will fall on down like here, right? Just like that. We could turn this off if we wish. And uh, we wait for the 20 minutes for them to grow up big and strong, and then we have an option. Uh, we can either cook them right away with this button, Gives just enough of a little uh, little bit of some lava to cook them. Of course, it doesn't touch hurt any babies. We wouldn't want that to happen. And then if you want the rabbit's feet, you hit this little guy. It suffocates them for just long enough gunk, that you can then go in and hit them with the old one, one, two, one, two. And they become one hit kills after that point, which you have to hit them yourself in order for the rabbit's feet to drop uh, because it's considered a rare drop. And, of course, everything that drops from these guys will go down into this chest. Super simple. All right, let's get... So, this is our last episode for nominees. Hope you guys have enjoyed this series. There should be a finale coming out shortly here. Um, the voting is now open, as I will state in a moment uh, where you can find that. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I've had a lot of fun doing it. The voting link will be in the description, as well as hovering on this video, and all of the other Torch Awards videos, and if you have not seen all the nominees yet, I recommend that you go check them out in the Torch Awards playlist, which you can find on my channel. Thank you guys for watching, hope you've enjoyed this series, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.